The ALS bucket challenge has become a global trend, but are people doing it for the right reasons? We walked around campus to find out if people are knowledgeable as to why they are completing this challenge for the cause. Here we have our participant of the ALS bucket challenge. So what does ALS stand for? Um, I don't know. Do you know what ALS is? Something for people that have a disability. Score. <laughs> Here we are with Eli. So what are your thoughts on the ice bucket challenge? I think the ice bucket challenge is a good idea, but a lot of people don't know why they're doing it, so they're just doing it to be dumb. So would you agree that people are doing it for attention? Yes, pretty much. And would you agree that people are unknowledgeable on ALS and what the disease actually is? Completely, but seeing it be so public, a lot of people are becoming more and more aware, but it started off as something to do, just to do. Thank you. Give some type of awareness, because it's still talking about the ALS, but the way people not even donating is just makes it pointless. Have you completed the challenge? No. Would you donate? I would. Here we are with Denzel, the man who completed the Ice Bucket Challenge. So, can you tell me what ALS stands for? That is a no, Denzel. Okay, so, uh, can you tell me who Peter Frett is? Um, I'm guessing he's a person with ALS. He's guessing. You heard Denzel, he is guessing. There you have it. Monko just summed up our conclusion that People participating in the ALS Bucket Challenge are unknowledgeable about this disease and are doing it for all the wrong reasons.